In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to delete a workspace in Microsoft Loop. Whether you're looking to clean up your work environment or simply need to remove something you no longer need, this step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the process. Let's dive right in. First things first, you'll want to open your preferred web browser and search for Microsoft Loop. You can use any browser that you like. Chrome, Firefox, Edge, the choice is yours. Simply type Microsoft Loop into the search bar and hit enter. This will bring up the official Loop page as one of the top results. Click on it to proceed. Once you've accessed the Microsoft Loop platform, you'll need to sign in. Use your existing Microsoft account credentials to log in. This is important because all your workspaces and settings are tied to your personal account. If you're already signed into a Microsoft account, you might be automatically logged in, but it's always a good idea to ensure it's the correct one by checking the account icon. After successfully logging in, you'll find yourself on the Loop home page. Here, you'll see a list of all your current workspaces. Take a moment to locate the specific workspace you intend to delete. Scrolling through your list should make this relatively easy, or you can use any search functionality available on the page to speed things up. Once you've identified the workspace you wish to delete, place your cursor over the title of this workspace. What you're looking for is the appearance of three small dots, commonly known as the More Options menu. These dots usually appear as a subtle overlay when you hover over a specific item on the page. Click on these three dots to open a drop-down menu with additional actions. From the menu options that appear, you will want to select Delete. Now be mindful, this is a significant action and not one to be taken lightly. Deleting a workspace will permanently remove all associated data, so think carefully before proceeding. After you choose to delete, a confirmation message will pop up. This message is there to ensure you understand the permanence of this action. Once deleted, you cannot recover the workspace. Take a moment to review this confirmation carefully. It's always wise to double check that you're deleting the correct workspace. If you're sure about your decision, select Delete again within the confirmation dialog to finalize the deletion. This second step acts as a failsafe to prevent accidental deletions. Once you've confirmed, the workspace will be permanently removed from your account. And there you have it. Following these steps will successfully delete the unwanted workspace from your Microsoft Loop account. Be sure to regularly review and manage your workspaces to maintain an organized and efficient digital workspace. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials.